Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to go on to the second slide of section 5.4 on historical observations of Mars. In the first slide you learned just a little bit about Galileo. Now we're going to go forward in time about 50 years. Uh, it's about 1656, 1658. The guy you're looking at on the left here is a, a guy from Denmark named Christian Huygens. He was a remarkable person in a number of ways. Probably his most important or lasting contribution to the human race is that he is given credit for being the person who invented the pendulum clock. Up until that time, recording time in a precise way was very, very difficult, almost notoriously difficult. And after the, the pendulum clock, or you and I might call it a grandfather clock, it became much easier to keep time over days, maybe even weeks, fairly accurately. And in fact, you could argue that there weren't significant improvements to his design for about another 300 years. In any event, Christian Huygens was the very first person to attempt to map the surface of Mars. You may recall that Galileo was the first person to look at Mars in 1610. By the time Christian Huygens was looking at Mars 50 years later, uh, telescopes had improved significantly. And so Huygens was able to notice a number of features. Uh, this figure on the right is one of the first maps ever made by an Earth-based observer of Mars. Now Huygens did something remarkable. He found what an astronomer would call an albedo feature. Basically, it's a big dark spot on Mars. And he was able to see this because there were no dust storms or anything like that. And he followed that big dark spot on Mars as Mars was rotating. And using a series of observations he took over a few weeks, he was able to estimate the rotation rate of Mars. In other words, Huygens estimated the length of a day on Mars by looking at this dark spot on the surface over a series of nights. He came up with a value of 24 hours and 30 minutes, which is exceptional because 400 years later, we've only improved that by 10 minutes. He was almost bang on the spot in the year 1658 or so. Right? So that's really, really quite something. Uh, what else do you need to know about him? He made the first map of Mars, and then he moved on to other things. We'll run into Christian Huygens again, particularly when we study Saturn.